episode number seven. Okay, here's the good news. You don't have to hear from me much this month. Things are in good shape. The features are announced. Kickstarter has about five days left. Um, We just spent a week in Montreal, so we're going to focus on that today. Um, Put in a new daughter board yesterday. So if you don't know, uh, the Chase Bliss pedals have two circuit boards inside of them. Uh, One does all of the controlling. It registers the buttons and the knobs, and then the other one makes all the sounds, and this is the one that does the sounds in blooper, in the recording. Um, So, just popped a new one of these in there yesterday, and number six, and the reason we did that is to improve the saving and loading performance. So, what is, what did we do? What did we do in Montreal? We did this stuff here. We worked on pops, we implemented wiggler, uh, we implemented normal mode. There's a loop reset pulse now. Look for the pulse. Did you see it? I hope you did. Lighting. Lighting is bright. Basically it's it's touch-up season for blooper, so all the features are in there and now we need to make them sound and feel their best. That's what's up. That's it. Montreal. Nope, just kidding. I forgot something. We haven't looked at CV clock yet. That's fun. So I have a synth here, and I have a cable going from the clock of the synth, which is this, and then I have, yeah, there, and then I have the output of the synth going in here. Um, so yeah, what we can do is very simply and quickly hard sync these two so that the blooper follows this. You flick a dip switch to activate CV clock, and you're good. Just got some blips. And what'll happen is when I press this, it'll wait for the next pulse from that before it starts recording, so I can be pretty haphazard. And now you have a harmony because the synth continues to play and you have a loop going here. Uh, This this can be nice with something like this very quickly because this is, um, it's random. The sequence, the the pitch of the sequence is random. So by looping it, it is no longer random. So if I turn the synth down, that's just blooper. And it stays synced uh, when playing to the synth as well. So I'll, I'll play around with that a little bit. So as you would change the speed of the clock source, instead of speeding up to match it, what Blooper's going to do is it's going to shorten or lengthen the loop length, um, which can lead to some nice, interesting consequences depending on whether you change this in a precise or kind of random way. Um, but here, when I bring this back in, you'll you'll hear that there's like a cool interplay that happens between the two because of the sync. I only have two more emails to respond to, and then I want to um, set up a MIDI controller to make sure that the MIDI works.
blue tile. You're doing great. My least favorite part of today was when we tried to order Chinese food and our credit card got declined four times. Sometimes I just take it one day at a time, you know? I said, I don't know, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> you got any beats out there? Any ideas for beats? <laughs> Hi, everybody. I wanted to tell a little story about Steven uh, before I got started here. I don't know if you know how much I appreciate you, OK? So thank you, Steve. And yeah. <laughs> We're at a wedding. <laughs> um, so what are we going to talk about? Blooper or mood? Blooper. <laughs> okay. Oh, I wasn't recording that. Whoops. Just put some of my normal stuff here so I can see what it, stuff that I'm used to. There we go. All right, some good Taika vibes to begin with, and we'll, we'll see where we get. direction and then also the speed, you know? Badass. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we got that. Okay, let me save this. Call it Blooper Reel One. Just tie in with the brand. <laughs> brand tie ins. <laughs> yeah, but um, this won't loop until. Ah, I fucked my live up. It's so cool. Well, this is great to have this. <laughs> I can build on this. I just need to figure out the exact timing of it. Ah, uh, new pedals. <laughs> it's a good day. Blooper. All right. 